want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! You know what they put in the water, don't you? Fluoride. On the pretext that it strengthens your teeth. That's ridiculous. For, for a long time now, uh, we have known uh, genetic uh, mutations that underlie disease. And so one of the thoughts is, if we know what mutations cause disease, why not just go in and replace it and revert it back to the normal sequence? And CRISPR is a technology that uh, we harness from bacterial cells to be able to make those precise changes in the, in the human genome. And, um, and the way it works is, imagine if you are writing a novel and you are proofreading the novel and there are some typos you want to fix. Um, and let's say the sentence in the novel said, twinkle, twinkle, big star, but you really want to fix it uh, so that it's twinkle, twinkle, little star. There are different ways to fix it. You can either um, get rid of the word big, um, that would read twinkle, twinkle, star. It doesn't capture the full meaning of what you are intending the sentence to be. Uh, and other ways is to just add in the, the little uh, word, so you have twinkle, twinkle, big, little star. And that still is quite confusing. So what you have to do is you have to go in and replace big with, with little. And so one way to do this, you may give Cas9 a RNA that encodes twinkle, twinkle, big star. And by taking this uh, search string, uh, Cas9 can go, can go into the genome and try to find a place where the mutation matches twinkle, twinkle, big star. And then Cas9 would make a cut uh, in the word uh, big, and then by providing the cell with a repair template that carries the word little, um, the cell will repair this uh, DNA uh, break uh, with the new uh, repair sequence. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So pretty cute. They're comparing uh, correcting spelling on a piece of paper to invasive species into the human body by editing our, def our DNA genome sequencing. Very cute, MIT. So CRISPR. CRISPR is pronounced CRISPR stands for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats. Synthetic DNA, folks. It's genome editing technology. Where does it come from? First discovered in Archaea land uh, by Francisco Mojica. He proposed that CRISPR serve as part of the bacterial immune system defending against invading viruses like vaccines. They consist of repeating sequence of genetic code interrupted by spacer sequences, remnants of genetic code from past invaders. The system serves as genetic memory that helps the cell detect and destroy invaders called bacteriophage when they return. So it's serving as a genetic memory. CRISPR spacer sequences are transcribed into short RNA sequences capable of guiding the system to matching the sequences of DNA. When the target DNA is found, Cas9, one of the enzymes produced by the CRISPR system, think artificial synthetic, binds to the DNA and cuts it, shutting the targeted gene off. What if they get the wrong gene? Using modified versions of Cas9, researchers can activate gene expression instead of cutting the DNA. How do they activate it? Is it wireless? These techniques allow researchers to study the gene's function. Research also suggests that CRISPR-Cas9 can be used to target and modify, quote, typos in the three billion letter sequence of the human genome in an effort to treat genetic disease. So there's three billion letter sequence, and they hope to modify a typo out of the three billion letter sequence. These are microscopic uh, nanoparticulate DNA folks. Look at how tiny they're talking. All right, how does the CRISPR compare to other genome editing? Since the CRISPR-Cas9 system itself is capable of cutting DNA strands, they do not need to be paired with separate cleaving enzymes as other tools do. They can also easily be matched with tailor-made, tailor-made, quote, guide, RNA sequences, what's in them, who programmed it, designed to lead them to their DNA targets. Tens of thousands of such RNA sequences, gRNA sequences, see how they're patenting a new type of RNA, have already been created and are available to research community. It can also be used to target multiple genes simultaneously, 
which is another advantage that sets it apart from other gene editing tools. Second, perhaps most significantly, when the Cas9 complex cuts DNA, it cuts both strands at the same place, leaving blunt ends that undergo mutations as they are rejoined. Hmm, mutations. The CPF1 complex cuts the true strands are offset, leaving short overhangs on the exposed end. This is expected to help with precise insertion, allowing researchers to integrate a piece of DNA more efficiently and accurately. Whose DNA? It's still like it can likely still be recut, allowing multiple opportunities for correct editing to occur. So does that mean the first editings were incorrect? So seven ways is CRISPR's about to change your world. This is August 5th, 2017. Uh, could radically change our world in the very new future. The new technology could touch everything from the way we treat disease to our food supply. Oh, yuck. It has the potential risk. Oh, it has some potential risk, and there are reasons to be concerned about editing the human germline. Really? The possibilities seem endless, and scientists, scientists, those risks are worth the reward. Scientists, to some scientists, these risks are worth the reward. Reward to whom, folks? All right, so here we have, let me move this over here. It will strengthen food crops. Scientists can eliminate anything from unwanted browning in mushrooms to weaknesses in food crops prone to bugs and disease using CRISPR that can make it one of the most quickly adopted technologies to ever hit the food industry. Now remember we said it, they, scientists are saying it's, the reward is worth the risk? USDA has already said it would not regulate CRISPR food. However, it's unclear how the public will receive it. They won't be told. However, CRISPR, there's already a lot of backlash against GMOs, but we don't talk about bioengineered nanofoods. However, CRISPR food isn't genetically modified. It's genetically snipped, meaning no genes for potentially harmful species are added to the crops. Trust us, folks. Trust us. It can cure cancer. Here we go again. This ties in with the living cancer cell, the preventative cancer living cell they're going to be putting in your body, the cancer killer cell that I wrote about. I did a YouTube on the other day. Um, this is going to be preventative cancer. They're going to put it in these, these modified genes in your body to prevent cancer. They've had so much success with the war on cancer over the past 40 years. Cancer has only increased with all the money and all the science and all the technology, and they can't even find a cure unless they go to hemp oil, and then the cure is right there. But we can't talk about that yet because they haven't rolled it out to the public yet. The pharmacology Bayer and Monsanto haven't approved it yet it's ridiculous 23rd today's July 25th okay <laughs> you guys you're gonna freak on this companies rush to develop utterly transformative gene therapies New York Times here we go Denise Grady picture is in cart therapy a patient's T cells are reprogrammed in a laboratory to create modified T cells that are genetically coded to recognize and fight the patient's cancer. Uh, approval of gene therapy for leukemia. Companies and universities are racing to develop these new therapies, which re-engineer and turbocharge millions, re-engineer and turbocharge millions of patients' own immune cells, turning into cancer killers that researchers call a, quote, living drug. Let's read that again. Turning them into cancer killers. So from our immune cells, they're turning them into cancer killers that researchers call a living drug. New treatments are expected to cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, cha-ching, and they come with risks. You'd be warned. Earliest studies nearly died. It was fun. Experts also have concerns about possible long-term effects. No shit. Like second cancers. Oh boy, more business. That could be the theory caused by the, disa the disabled viruses. Excuse me, disabled viruses. So their viruses disabled. That's what they done. They disabled them. Used in genetic engineering. And they're using genetic engineering into your T cells. Okay, you want to hear that again? Experts also have concerns about possible long-term effects from second cancers that could, in theory, be caused by the disabled viruses, viruses disabled, used in genetic engineering and putting in your body. Removing millions of white blood cells called T cells, often referred to as the soldiers of the immune system from the patient's bloodstream, genetically engineering them to recognize and kill cancer multiplying them, and then infusing them back into the patient. So this is critical to understand. So basically they're taking your good T cells out. 
a new treatment removing millions of white blood cells, now they argue that there be some cancer cells in there, called T cells, also known as, quote, the soldiers of our immune system. They're removed from the patient's bloodstream, they're genetically modified and engineered, then they're mo turned into multiple, uh, they multiply into killer cancer cells, and then infusing them back into the patient. Oh, they can wipe out the Zika-carrying mosquitoes. These guys are good. Mr. CRISPR technology is going to save the world. Oh, engineer better drugs so the opioid uh, and, uh, pandemic that's going around the world could be alleviated. So bringing it back home, August 9th, 2017, which is today, the opioid crisis is even worse than we thought. Besides all the drugs by big pharmacology, all the heroin being brought over from Afghanistan with the U.S. troops bringing it over and helping harvest it. Zero opium sales in 2000 with the Taliban. 90 to 95 percent of all opium sales are coming from Afghanistan now since U.S. occupation. This is not a coincidence. Um, so anyway, this chronicles how the opiate is affecting everyone, putting strain on all the health services and whatnot. And it's being caused by deliberate actions by bringing drug addiction into the United States and other worlds to make us more dependent. Pharmacology wins, Big Brother wins, uh, the war on drug wins, more money, blah, blah, blah. It goes on and on. Whether it's 90% plus of the world's opium supply, 90 fucking percent, that is a multi, multi billion dollar business. And if you think these fucking industrialists that are running the world are going to leave that money behind, you're fucking crazy. Dude, they've got United States Army troops guarding Poppy Field. There's fucking so much heroin there. I mean, it's incredible. The fucking brother of the president of Afghanistan. His brother was selling heroin and getting paid by the CIA. I mean, god damn it. Heroin is absolutely addictive, okay? People who try heroin get hooked. Heroin is everywhere. Okay. Problem, reaction, solution. What else are they going to come up with? Oh, they can heal the blind with CRISPR technology. This is getting good. The Salk Institute. They're going to make everybody all better. Drug companies are going to go away. Pharmaceutical companies will cease to exist. We'll live in peace. Oh, they're going to eliminate HIV with the CRISPR technology. And what's, what else can they do? Let's find out. The, the, the AIDS made from the AZT drug that they put in all the, uh, the drugs uh, for, to give people AIDS. That was actually the medication. And AIDS was another man-made, created in the lab, disease designer drug. Wake up, folks. Oh, they can snip out genetically inherited diseases before babies are born. And this is what I talked about, this living cancer cell they're coming up with. So you see, technology is going to save us. Technology is going to own us. They're going to splice genes into us with on-off switches, as I, as I talked about in the previous folks. It's time to wake up about what they're doing. We have to grow our own food, get our own farm gardens going, water supplies, Otherwise, we're going to be synthetic humans. They're, they're rolling it out. It's coming now. They're not going to tell you about it, but here's just another way to show you how they're turning us into transhumanisms day by day without us even knowing. And even more importantly, without our consent and without our knowledge. It's time to speak up. It's time to learn. Not everybody's going to understand how this technology has taken over the world and gotten inside of all of us as synthetic humans, but hopefully this will help. All right, this is it for Plain Truth, a little short one. I just got onto this today and just want to explain a little more about CRISPR and how it's invading all our food supplies, water supplies, and they're going to be selling it as the cure panacea for all, and it's nothing but uh, a way to control humans even further. All right, this is the Plain Truth info. Peace out. Catch you on the next one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Tractor beam. Suck me right in.